Yes, I know what you're thinking. Taylor, what are you up to this time? Well, it all makes sense by the end of this video. For my Honors 189 project, I was supposed to do an experiential project, take an idea out of one of the books that we studied and apply it to my real life. Suzuki wrote in his book, in his book called A Beginner's Mind, it says, in the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities, but in the experts, there are few. And in that class that we talked about that quote, we talked about the boxes that we ourselves make along with our society. And those boxes cage us. They do not allow us to become our best selves, our most creative selves, or our most imaginative selves. So I decided I was going to make that a physical thing. I took several cardboard boxes, courtesy of my friend, of course, and I decided to make them something beautiful, something that they are not originally. I would do that for 14 days, and by the end of those 14 days, these boxes would be several different beautiful things, but still just be cardboard in the end. So the 14 days are over, and I've learned many, many things about this project, as well as myself. But firstly, it was more difficult than I thought it would be. I had problems several days coming up with things, where outside elements would interrupt my thought process and my imagination. For example, the first day alone was rough as it was. Having broken boxes that you weren't originally meaning to be broken is harder than it looks, along with the sunburn that made it hard for my muscles to move. Overall, I felt like my imagination was not taking me anywhere. But more than anything, I think that this experience reminded me why it's so important to never take your experience or your beginner's mind for granted. Both of them, when they work together, create beauty. I had made many things from a pirate ship to a car to a porta potty of all things to the last day being a spaceship. I learned that. A beginner's mind can often be a fun one because we do not realize these limits are there. I had a lot of fun, especially on the last day when I got to make a spaceship out of all things. But sometimes it's hard to come up with other things. For example, one day I simply made a bed because I was tired and the beginner's mind was simply not helping me because I couldn't think of what to do to wake myself up. It was like those limits are made to both help us and to hinder us. Overall, this experiential project was very important to me because my imagination and my creativity is important to me. And it helped me realize that even with college, even with learning and becoming more experienced, I cannot let go of that fresh-eyed experience that you have with the new experiences that you have. And overall, I learned that Suzuki's words are true. In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In the experts, there are few. But I would like to add something else to that. Yes, the beginner's mind has many possibilities. And the expert's mind, there are much less possibilities. But when they work in tangent, when you take your new experiences along with your old experiences, the next set of experiences that you have become entirely your own and beautiful because whether you're making a bed a porta potty 
or a spaceship, those possibilities that you create are yours alone. And a beginning and expert's mind can only be judged by yourself.